In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to perform parallel test execution in Playwright. That means how to achieve the parallelism in the Playwright. So I will navigate to the VS Code now. And here, so we are going to execute the one spec file called group.spec.js file. So which has the two groups, one is smoke testing, which contains the two automation tests, that is test one and test two. And we have another group called sanity testing, which contains the three automation tests, test three, test four and test five. So total we have five automation tests in this group.spec.js file. So that's a bit about the spec file, which we are going to execute it in a couple of minutes. So for the parallel test execution, so we need to make sure that one flag is set to true inside the playwright.configuration file that is under the defined configuration. So there is a one flag called fully parallel colon and here we need to set the value as true always to run the playwright test in parallel mode. That's it guys. Now let's try to run the group.spec.js file from the command prompt. You can run it from the command prompt or you can run it from the terminal as well. So simply I'm writing the npx and also we are passing the number of tests can be triggered for the execution. So that parameter value also we are passing it from the terminal only. So here I'm just passing the npx command followed by playwright and after that I'm adding the test and here we have to specify the spec file name. So here I'll say group dot spec dot js and after that so this is where we have to pass the proper value so that play playwright can trigger the appropriate test executions that means the number of tests you want to trigger for the execution at the same time so that parameter value you need to pass it here so simply you can write hyphen hyphen workers and space let's say we have the total five automation test. So that's the reason here I'll write three. That means at the same time, it is going to execute the three automation test if I pass it as the three value. So let's pass the three and we will see whether it is launching the three browsers and it is going to execute the three automation test at the same time. So it has triggered the all the, let me just ma minimize this window. And if you see here guys, it has triggered the three tests for the execution. And also it has triggered the next two automation tests for the execution. And then finally it is going to complete the test execution. So right now this is the last test execution is happening. So total we have the five automation test. And if I go to the VS code and here you can see that five tests are passed and we can check the results inside the playwright test report and there also we should be able to see all the five tests are passed so if you see here so this is the total count and this is the passed count so this is the expected results and also here you can see that test one and test two are belong to the smoke testing group and test three test four test five is belong to the sanity testing group so let's trigger the five sorry let's trigger the four test cases execution at the same time this time so here i'm passing the worker workers as four that means at the same time it is going to execute the four test cases so it has opened all the browsers let me minimize all the browsers so that i can show you the execution if you look at the taskbar guys it has opened the four browsers that means four test case execution is happening right now so let's wait for some time so that it will completes the all the execution right now only one test execution is happening that's it guys so let's go to the vs code and if you see here guys so it has took 41 seconds and all the five test cases are passed so let's go to the report also so let's refresh the report and here you can see that all the tests are getting passed here. So this is how you can 
perform the parallel testing in the playwright. 